Hey guys, it's Brian, the embroidery guy. Um, so yeah, that too. Um, I've been doing embroidery for 15 years, so I think I can call myself the embroidery guy, part-time at least. So anyway, I'm back to my lovely TMFX C902. And yeah, C902S. And uh, anyway, I had decided to go a different route on this. And um, I've decided to stop working on this card because I can't get any documentation for it and reverse engineering it is extremely time consuming. Um, I could send it in and have it rebuilt for $900, but I honestly think, oh, that scared the hell out of me. Uh, I honestly think it just makes more sense at this point to, I think I would unplug it, but no, I'm not going to unplug it. I'm just going to keep working on it. It turned off. Um, but uh, I'm actually going to sell this machine. It's great on flats, but I can't get the cap driver for it. And uh, I'm going to go back to using Melco's. And there's a reason for that. But first, we're going to take a break and put fresh batteries in this flashlight right back. So, you know, this is a complicated Japanese engineered design from um, the early 90s. And, you know, I don't know why it's failed. I don't know what's failed. Um, I've traced this and tested all sorts of stuff. And I just said, you know what? It is not worth the time for me to reverse engineer this. There are three more cards in here that could go. It's a great machine if you're doing flats, i.e. shirts, bags, aprons. Um, and so that's just kind of where we're going to go with it. Um, what I want to do next is I'm going to hook everything back up. And I'm going to pull it out and make sure it's functional. So that goes there. And that goes there. That stays there. That goes, does that go in there? I guess it does. No, that does not go in there. This goes in there. And then this, it's for 200 volt, 100 volt. So we're on the 100 volt bus. Oh, there it is. So the 100 volt bus is plugged back in. So what we want to do is bring it up. And actually, I gotta pause because I need to go get a wrench to tighten this control head. All right, in the process of buttoning this up, we're gonna tuck the ground wire back in. Make sure we've got clearance on these cables. And then we gotta figure out, yeah, maybe this was the outside. Yeah, that was the outside. And then these go here. And these really are, I mean, if you were doing sash work or, you know, anything step and repeat, this is just a fantastic machine for that. But for doing hats, um, let's see, yeah, that'll work.
And I'm absolutely convinced that whatever has gone out on that board is probably a five or ten dollar part. That's actually it actually really makes me mad. So he does not have a computer. Flash. That suggests we've got oh, yeah, it's because we don't have a ground connection. So let me make a ground And this is just for testing. I, this is not a permanent way to run the machine. Oh, okay, we just had it disconnected. So I had a multimeter connected in here and I don't need to do that at this point. So Hey, there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some sewing. So Should be good to go. This is kind of boring to watch if you're not like me and you're really into embroidery. All right, so here we are coming up on the end. And we missed a trim. So we need to just grab that and pull it up. Sometimes that happens. Um, you know, normally this machine's pretty good about that. But it has been sitting for a while.
flag anymore. This trimmer may need to be oiled or cleaned. Again, it's been a while since it's run. So we missed it's it's just not picking it right so other than that so it looks beautiful it ran completely on my lab bar, pinch power supply did not draw more than a third of an amp so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna patch in I'm gonna tap these carefully and safely I'm gonna put a power supply here and then I'm gonna tap this brown wire down here and I'm going to attach to ground somewhere on one of these mini screws. Anyway, what that's going to do is bypass the bad 12 volt uh, leg on this power supply and put this machine back in operation. Um, and then I'm going to sell it because I actually want to move to smaller machines that are more versatile. I really need more than one machine that can run hats because I run hats. I run 8 to 10 hats a day on this machine. And, and when something breaks, because it will, it's a machine. I need a backup and this machine can't be that backup right now. So anyway, thanks for watching this part. I will um, show what I'm doing when I do the taps and wire in the power supply and make this machine uh, robust and alive again. Thanks for watching.